Hi hey everyone, Nathan here with the ebookreader.com. So I've got my trusty old rooted Nook Touch here. I wanted to show you a really, really cool app for the Nook Touch. It was actually made just for it. Um, it's the Cool Reader app. So the developer uploaded this version for the Nook that you can get over at the XDA forums. I'll put a link down for it. And you can install this app. And what's cool about it is, is uh, he set it up so that it doesn't have the full page refresh. Just like the Nook is you know, set up for with this default functionality. So you can set the full page refresh uh, to a specific number of pages you want. See like right there, it did the full page refresh. Um, what else is really cool is that the, the buttons actually work. So if you hit the buttons, um, all of the four buttons, they work to turn pages. Uh, so that's really cool too. Uh, you can set this thing up like ho however you want to. There's a whole bunch of different settings in here. Um, so you can open different files. It supports EPUB, FB2, uh, a whole bunch of formats. Um, does not support DRM though, so that's the one problem is it doesn't support um, Adobe DRM, so you won't be able to read ebooks from um, websites that you purchased. But uh, for DM free books, it is awesome. You've got these, uh, like I said, you got the open file that opens up your different files. Uh, you can go to different pages. Uh, you've got the table of content support as well. Um, we've got uh, bookmarks. Um, select text so I have it so that if I double you can go into settings and set this up I have it set up so that if I double tap something I can select text um, you can actually set this in the settings too so that if you want to automatically look in the dictionary when you check it or add a bookmark whatever or you can set it to pop up this menu right here where you can uh, choose some different options here so this is the copy you can copy text to the clipboard um, we can also look up words in the dictionary there's two dictionaries supported but four dictionary I couldn't get that one to work and the um, color dictionary. So right here we get the different Wikipedia entries and some different information. It's also got the translator. Okay, so if you also, if you double tap and then you hit this button, this is the bookmark button. And so once you do that, you can actually add comments to it as well. It's not just bookmarks. You can actually um, uh, write text notes here too. And then once that'll get saved onto your bookmark list. Okay, so some of the um, other settings here, um, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Different font sizes, different font types. I've been kind of into Droid Sans here lately, personally. So we've got different font types and it does change them rather quickly. Um, we can go in and change um, to night mode too. I've been liking night mode. If you saw my blog post the other day, I. Um, put a blog post about this and that's where um, somebody put a comment about Cool Reader because it has the night mode too. I kind of like it here lately. I don't know why. It's just something different, I guess. It works better with full page refresh though because you can get a little, get a little bit of um, um, places where it doesn't fully refresh sometimes. So let's go back to regular. So you can see you got different settings in here for text color. You got the hyphenation. Uh, there's a bunch of different dictionaries for hyphenation as well. How do we go back? I guess we don't have a back. We just go there. How do I get it? It's all blacked out. Okay, so that's this first page of settings. And then there's, let's, go, let's get this back to the regular white here. That's the first page of settings. And then the second page, we have some more options over here. So this is where the Nook specific options are for Cool Reader, cool reader where they added these. So you got the screen update mode. So you can set that to be fast or quality. And so if you set it to fast, you can set up the um, screen update interval, so how often you want the full page refresh, you can set that up right here. So that's really, really cool actually, because you're not going to get that with other apps. Well, you get it with the FB Reader J app, that's actually what they based this on. So, um, we, one other cool thing is you've got, uh, obviously you've got landscape mode. Since there isn't a, center, a sensor, you have to just set it manually. I really like reading in landscape mode, it's just the Nook is very comfortable to hold that way. I don't know why they didn't add that to its regular um, functionality, it's kind of strange. Um, so there's also a two-page landscape mode as well. I'm used to that with the Sony Daily Edition. It was really good at that. It's a little bit strange on here. Let me show you how it looks. Two pages. So you can set up the, obviously you can set the margins different too. So this is like, you really good, probably speed readers are like this. You can read really fast. Your eyes don't have to move very far across the screen just to keep going um, with the two columns. That's one of the benefits with it. Okay, so let's go back and over here's those options. Go back to portrait mode. Okay, so um, yeah, you can see some of the other options here. You can set the, um, you can set your margins. 
um, yeah, it has all those uh, advanced settings. And so I've got it set on full screen mode. You can also have the Nooks menu up there. Um, like I said, you can set the different dictionaries right there. Um, there's these different tap zone regions, so where you tap on the screen um, will bring up the different uh, turn pages in the reader menu right there. Um, we've also got some different options down here. Um, like uh, I've set this up tap selection with a double tap, so when I double tap something, you get the options. Otherwise, you have to hit the menu and then select, so it's easier with a double tap. I really like that section selection. Um, so you've got the highlight tap zones too if you want to see where you're tapping. So yeah, there's uh, quite a few features in this. It's uh, got a lot of stuff going for it. I really like this app for um, uh, EPUBs because uh, yeah, it works really good on the Nook. Obviously, as you can see with the um, page refresh like this, I really like that feature. And obviously, you can use the buttons too. I don't really use them a whole lot because they're pretty stiff. But uh, yeah, so you can set that up too if you don't want it to say what the title is and up there and everything. You can get rid of that stuff. Um, so that's a really cool app. There's just kind of a look at it. Um, we've got a little bit more settings down here. Um, if you had, the, too bad the Nook doesn't have um, speakers because you could use the text-to-speech uh, feature, but uh, it doesn't have any audio, so that won't work. Um, but I'm going to wrap up this review right here. Check out the ebookreader.com. Um, I'll put the link for the Cool Reader app on there. Um, thank you for watching.